everyone, it's Alicia with H&R Reptiles. And my name is Ashton Riley. Welcome to H&R Reptiles. <laughs> Hi everyone. Sorry we're a little giggly. We had a few outtakes before we could get this one right. At least I didn't get my name wrong. Hey. You got the name of the channel wrong, so that's slightly worse. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys think forgetting your name is worse or forgetting the name of your business is worse? Okay. Your name. Definitely worse. Let us know what you think. <laughs> Alright. So let's let them know what they're here for today. So, um, in today's video, we're going to be introducing, obviously, my brand new amphibians. I was going to say reptiles, but <laughs> my new amphibians. The Vietnamese Mossy Tree Frog. They are so cool. Now, um, as you guys can tell, there's partial water in their tank. That's because they're actually semi-aquatic, so we have water. You gonna show them Michaela? So, as you guys can see, we have the enclosure right here. We have the half water. Um with it let's open it up first of all that's one of my little vietnamese mossy tree frogs sitting underneath the waterfall like she usually does i can actually control the waterfall with that little pump but this little girl i don't know if i said her name or not her name's michaela very cute chilling in the water side so like i said before they are semi-aquatic we have a little bridge for her to get up and out of there's also a male He's over there, right here, but he's a lot less active in the water side. Michaela by far spends 90% of her day underneath that waterfall, opposed to him, which spends most of his time in a little crevice in the back. Mm. Oh, his name is Ty. My bad. Um, if you guys are hardcore Survivor fans, you'll know the reference from their names. If not, shame on you. So we, can, so I had to custom make all of this. Um, as you guys can see, it's separated. I had to get a little plastic from Hobby Lobby before the apocalypse happened. I set this up like a month, two months ago. Yeah, yeah. About yeah. Long. So um, I got some plastic and okay. First, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I failed a few times, I'll talk about that later, but they have their little water side, and then they have their little other area, their land side. It's quite adorable whenever the frogs get inside of these little flowers, as you guys could see from the cover photo of this video. There's also an awesome little log in there. Now this is a 20 gallon tank, which is way bigger than what they need, but these guys are pretty neat. So I wanted to get them a pretty big enclosure because I plan on getting more than just two in the future. Ty actually really loves this little area right here for some reason. Um, I did have to silicone it off because I think it was like a turtle tank, wasn't it a turtle tank? Yeah. It was a turtle tank, so I just sealed this off with aquarium safe silicone. There's also that, but it is a very nice little tank for them, and it works really well. I'm going to put this back on the tripod. Catch you guys in a minute. Hi, everyone. So we're back, and I just, so we're going to explain how I put this together. First of all, I have a question. Which one of them was your favorite, Michaela or Ty? My personally? Is it okay if I have a favorite of your, of your frogs? Don't listen, you guys. Michaela, they heard offended. Ty did hear. I'm sorry, Ty. You're amazing too, but Michaela has just gorgeous colorations. Michaela is really gorgeous. I don't know if you guys could tell that little clip, but she has a lot of reds on her, which he doesn't really have so it's really pretty he's got some just not as many 
we're gonna explain how I set this together. Yeah. So before I say anything, I spent so much money oh, on I this. You, I thought you were talking about all of your time. Oh, I spent so much time on this. Wasn't it like two, two and a half, almost three weeks? Yeah. Of stress, of failures, epic failures. I'm not even going to like sugarcoat anything. It was like horrendous. Did you redo it three or four times? Only three, don't be mean. I wasn't sure, that's why I asked. Only three. Hey. Yeah, three. Was it only three? Yes. Oh, okay. I think. <laughs> okay, let's get past that. But I failed a few times because I didn't really know, like, how to execute it properly. I finally settled with this idea. I got a piece of plastic and I got some acryl uh, silicone, uh, aquarium safe silicone. Yeah, sorry. And I like blocked it off and I got a tarp and I put it down and I siliconed it all together and I got the cork back back on and I used a little bit of some aquarium safe great stuff foam and I foamed up the side of it and then yeah and it works pretty well all of this down there is a collect over um, two months it's just the excess water that drips down because as you can tell we have this lined with ducting tape yes oh. ducting tape not duct tape <laughs> sorry it was a big deal looking for this tape at Home Depot but um but yeah, we spent a lot of money because all of the plants that I got from it, I got from Hobby Lobby, and I kind of just like put everything together. You've seen all my struggles. Oh, I've seen a lot of struggles. A lot. A lot. <laughs> so, a little bit of um, information on the Vietnamese mossy tree frog is, if you guys are interested, is Obviously, the reason why they get their name is because they look like a little piece of moss. I think that that's what makes them adorable. I love the frogs that, like, look odd. I love frogs. They're awesome. I think they're adorable. They're gorgeous. I love them. Um, these little guys are actually obviously found in Vietnam and also down in China. They're actually pretty rare because the female hatch rate is really, really low, which is really sucks, but it just happens. That's why I'm really hoping that I get some bread. So these guys are actually pretty neat because they're found in cave systems inside of Vietnam. You won't find these guys on like the land and stuff. The only reason why in captivity we give them an area to like go on to is just so they can have that option. They usually spend 99 to 100% of their life inside of water or on like big fallen like tree branches that get like stuck in these caves. Now because of that like living in the caves these guys are actually very nocturnal and are actually not they can handle cold so they really don't need a heat bulb or anything it's just for fluorescent reasons so they can see their food. At night we turn it off and they actually hop around, they're much more active. <laughs> the other day I literally like thought something was dying because I heard this weird noise. It turned out it was Thai. Nothing was dying. <laughs> it was funny the other day me and Alicia were walking um, back from the cemetery we heard a frog. Yeah last night. And she was all like, watch, we're going to get to your apartment and it's going to be Ty. Well, he wanted to go in someone's backyard and steal it. Ah, uh, no, I'm not for herping. I just wanted to go look at it. No herping here. <laughs> I'm kidding. We would never herp. Anti-herp. But, but he was pretty curious of looking at it. Mm-hmm. Well, I love animals. But these guys are awesome. I personally love them. I do plan on getting more females. Hopefully we can get these guys bred and then 
whenever you guys see us at expos, you guys might be able to pick up some of these awesome endangered frogs because they're very new to the reptiling community actually. I noticed that it's actually really hard to find these guys. I had to, yeah. Yeah, you had to get them specially shipped in. Yeah. And which wasn't really, it was had pretty to, expensive. Had to go somewhere for them to get it shipped from somewhere else. Yeah. That's how bad. So hopefully I can get these guys bred up so you guys can, you know, be able to get some easier, you know? Help the species, make sure they don't go extinct, because they are really amazing little frogs. Yeah. I really hope that these guys get really popular like the crested gecko and it saves their species because I don't know if you guys know, but the crested gecko was actually thought to be extinct before 1994, but it got rediscovered in 1994 and now there are so many. I'm hoping that with these guys, them being on the break of them not being anymore, that people will get them and breed them and they'll be everywhere like the crested gecko is. That's my goal for these guys. That'd be nice. Yeah. I will be doing a care video in about a week or two about these guys because this wasn't really a care video. It was just like introducing them. Well, they might have they seen some from. of their food in there at one point when you were showing it around. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. These guys can eat a lot more than just crickets though. My yeah. guys... I was just trying to get adapted, which I would love to film them eating some dubia roaches. Oh, I bet they like that. So I think we're going to call this video as it is, so I hope... Oh, one more thing before we go. The picture, our cover photo. Oh, okay. So one more thing we want you guys to comment down below. We're just really interested on... Who can figure it out? Who can guess first? I mean, it's only a 50-50 shot, so you got a 50-50 shot of being right. The cover photo. Who is that? Is that Michaela or is that Ty? Let us know. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and comment with the name because we try to post new videos every week. We are going to get on it. I know we've said that the apocalypse is something hard though like seriously but right now with everyone going crazy in their homes might as well give them a little something to watch little cute frogs watch us going crazy i mean the frogs she's a little crazy the we're frogs. all mad here okay guys bye, bye.